Hello all, Signal Fan here with another signal review. Uh, this is the Eagle Signal from the 1950s. And uh, this was a common signal that was uh, used throughout the Midwest, lots of places, but uh, more common in the Midwest. Again, it was the uh, every town had to have a single four way signal in their town to slow traffic down or stop them or all that. So, this is a, a typical example of that. Top of the signal is distinct, uh, only to Eagle. They had this type of ridging with a uh, slope to the top where the pipe fittings are. Uh, we have the span wire hanger, which is not shown in this view, that would uh, hang on the wire spanning between the, the two poles and then um, either a, a balance adjuster or it would connect directly to this fitting the wire entrance fitting and the cable goes inside from here the base of the signal is flatter than most four ways it's got a nice flat bottom with a little bit of a curved lip here so it made setting down on a flat surface very easy um, one disadvantage to this design is that the lip tends to break, so if it got knocked on the ground, many signals you see in collectors have chips or um, places that there's pieces missing. The lens style that's uh, distinctive for Eagle Signal is these crossed stop and go flags. Uh, that's unique to Eagle Signal, and uh, it's pretty kind of a cool emblem. This uh, emblem was used throughout the 50s, and uh, just, uh, there's very different variations on this lens. Okay, now we're going to open up the signal and show you what's inside. This is the uh, back part of the lens. It has the four lens retaining screws and a rubber gasket to hold in the lenses. This particular uh, signal is a later version in that it has a aluminum reflector other than a glass reflector. And uh, the reflector ring just pulls out, exposing the wiring inside. Uh, sockets, porcelain sockets, wires uh, going to a terminal block, which you can't really see here, but it's up in the, the lid of the signal. Again, I've got the 40 watt appliance bulbs inside. I normally would have 69 watt bulbs, 67 or 69 watt traffic bulbs. Uh, the door also has the gasket around the outer side that seals against the lip of the door here. It keeps out the moisture. The uh, way the visor is mounted to the signal head became a standard for many years in that it is screwed uh, twist style into the head. That is, you loosen the screws, you place the visor, you twist it slightly, and then tighten the screws. So there was a little slot on the screw. Um, GE signals had a complete uh, loop, so you'd have to completely remove the screws to take the uh, visors off. Well, all in all, the Eagle Signal is a pretty basic design, but it was pretty functional as well and uh, lasted for many years. Um, it's a, a nice all-around signal. Um, just uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, please like and, sus and uh, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll continue with uh, more in the series.